Hey there, good morning everyone. Tuesday the 20th of June 2023. This morning's devotional is a reading from Matthew chapter 5, reading verses 29 and 30 which read, If your right eye causes you to sin, gouge it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to go into hell. I often wonder, have we ever, have we ever even given any real thought to the statement made by Jesus? What price would you pay to live? I think that many people would say they would pay a dear price to live. Sometimes that might just be pure talk. When we say we are prepared to pay a high price, we need to make sure that we live up to those words, which sometimes may be spoken in haste. Few people have had to pay a high price to live. And I'm not talking about a kidnapping scenario here. Kidnappers are just greedy and selfish and think only of themselves. But one person really paid that price. You see, in April 2003, a chap by the name of Aaron Ralston, a, a rock climber, and he was out climbing some rocky mountain, and there was a rock fall, and he got trapped between a rock wall and a rock that firmly pinned him to this wall. He could move his entire body except his right arm, which was pinned between the rock wall and the rock. After several days, and after much contemplation, he amputated his own arm using a blunt knife. He was a man who wanted to live so desperately that he was willing to lose an arm if it meant keeping his life. They later recovered that arm, cremated it and buried it. Living a healthy life spiritually requires us to cut some things out of our lives. Jesus spoke to his followers saying, if your eye, even your good eye, causes you to lust, for example, gouge it out and throw it away. For it is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your entire body to be thrown into hell. And for example, if your hand, even your strong hand, causes you to sin, whatever sin that may be, stealing or I don't know, cut it off and throw it away. While this is not a literal instruction, the point is very clear. For example, lust is selfish and sinful. And it's an issue that separates us from a right relationship with God. In fact, all sin is sinful and separates us from a right relationship with God. We are responsible for the burden of our sinful desires. And we cannot shift the burden onto others and demand that they change to accommodate our weaknesses. My dear friends, we all have areas of weakness. Call on God today to help and act now to remove yourself from situations that may lead to failure. We can reject temptations as we shout yes to God's calling for our lives. May the Lord be with you. May he bless you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be with you always. Goodbye.